What's up guys, welcome back to Real Conservative Talk. Before I start, hit that button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen and go subscribe. It's free. It helps the channel. Just hit subscribe. Now, there's a video circulating on TikTok saying that while we, the American people, have been caught up with the Johnny Depp trial, uh, yesterday on April 29th, one of Joe Biden's cabinet members, the Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, was arrested for conspiracy to destroy agricultural processing plants. Now, the article here from Real Raw News says that White Hats on Tuesday arrested the criminal Biden regime's Secretary of Agriculture, Thomas J. Vilsack, after connecting him to the calculated destruction of a dozen agricultural processing facilities across the United States, JAG sources told Real Raw News. In the first paragraph, we can debunk this. So let me say this. If a government official or officials conspired to destroy food processing plants for the American people, would you not think that the biggest story in the world right now as far as conservative media outlets go, would be the fact that Joe Biden and one of his cabinet members uh, had just been arrested for destroying food processing plants in the United States and trying to starve American citizens. First of all, it'd be an immediate impeachable offense. Second of all, Fox News would be having a fucking field day with this. They're not reporting on this. Why? Because it's not true. This is all over YouTube. This is all over Google but all from usually these WordPress personal blog sites. Now, why can this be debunked so easy? Okay, well, the person that wrote the article didn't take the time to go and read about the law called Post-Comitatus Post Act reads, whoever, except in cases and under circumstances expressly authorized by the Constitution or Act of Congress, willfully uses any part of the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, or the Space Force as a post comitatus or otherwise to execute the laws shall be fined under the title or imprisoned not more than two years or both. What that's saying is it's illegal for JAG officers, who is a, a part of the Air Force, to make an arrest. Not only not to make an arrest, but to investigate a civilian. The president himself is a civilian. His cabinet members are civilians. They are tried by civilian law. They are investigated by civilian courts. That's why the FBI investigates the president, like with the whole Trump-Russia stuff, right? The FBI, Department of Justice, that's who investigates that, not the military. There's good reason for that. Just like the president is the commander-in-chief of the military, but he's a civilian commander-in-chief. That means that the military is ultimately run by the civilians. Everyone in our government that is a government official is a civilian. The only exceptions to this is the post Comitatus Act that outlaws the willful use of any part of the military or of the Army or Air Force, which is JAG, to execute the law unless expressly authorized by the Constitution or any act of Congress. There's no act of Congress that authorizes the arrest of the Secretary of Agriculture, by the way. History supplies the grist for an argument that the Constitution prohibits military involvement in civilian affairs, which this would be, subject to only limited alter alterations by Congress or the President, but the courts do not appear to have ever accepted the argument unless the violation of more explicit constitutional command could also be shown. The express statutory exceptions include the legislation that allows the president to use military force to suppress insurrection or enforce federal authority. Now, think about that. If the president is really the only person by legislation that can enact the use of JAG investigations and officers making an arrest, that means that Biden arrested his own fucking cabinet member and just opened up an investigation that will ultimately come back to him. So we know we can't believe that, right? He may be dumb, but he's not that dumb 
And if you don't think he's running the country, then whoever's running the country isn't that dumb. Think about this. So I think we can officially say that this is debunked. Because it would not have been JAG officers arresting him. By the way, I did see a tweet by the Secretary of Agriculture about two hours ago. So he's not in jail. Come on, guys. Let's use context clues here, right? Not everything is a conspiracy. I do think conspiracies can be healthy because it keeps people open-minded. And it also is, serves as somewhat of a checks and balance. And I'm not saying that maybe there wasn't something going on. I'm not saying that at all. Maybe there is. Maybe he did do this. But what's not true is that he did not get arrested and he did not get arrested by JAG officers. And he did not get uh, arrested, and you can go read the article, I'll put the link in there, for something that happened a month ago. Because they'd still be investigating that and they would have no clue when you read about how they said they destroyed the processing plants. They wouldn't have any idea on who did it yet. So, again, hit subscribe. Just wanted to kind of Bring awareness to that and get some facts out there about this whole situation so people aren't just making it much more of a big, bigger deal than what it is because I cannot stand hearing some of these crazy theories that are easily disproven.